Hi everyone, Mrs. Louder here. We are making an ing crown today to go with the chunk that we're learning in phonics. Now there are a lot of things that start with ing. We'll get to those in a minute. I want to show you that you can make a crown out of anything. I made this out of an old ad, an old Rite Aid ad and an envelope that was in recycling. I did have some tape to stick with and a pen. So you'll need some of these things. You'll need some kind of paper that can get really long. And you'll need something to write on. It could be any color. You'll need something to write with. It could be a crayon or a marker. All I had was this pen. I've got to look around and see if I can find some more things. And then you need something to stick the ing on with. I had tape. That's all I had. But I made it work. Maybe you have glue or a glue stick, or if you're really stuck, mom or dad could maybe help you mix a teeny bit of flour and water together, and that'll stick stuff on too. We can get super creative here. All right, first thing, take a piece of the ad. These come in my mailbox, I think every Tuesday, and I, I look at them and then I put them in recycling. So this will be good use for it. I tore mine in half long ways because it wasn't long enough to go around my head. Then I just held them together like this and then I started twisting. It does not have to be perfect. You can just twist and twist and twist. There we go. Doesn't even have to be all the way twisted. I just kind of like the look of it. Twist and twist and twist. And now I'm going to have to take mine off so I can see how this one is going to fit. All right. Look at that. Then I just took the back and I crinkled it up and around and I just twisted it like in a little bun and then I squished it. And it stayed. Ooh, look. I look like I'm from the 80s. Actually, I'm a little bit before that. <laughs> anyway, next thing you need to do is take that envelope. This is just an empty envelope from a bill. I have a lot of those. And then I'm just tearing it apart. It does not have to be perfect. If you have scissors, you could certainly cut it with scissors. If you fold it on the rough part, or if you fold it before you tear it and fold it really good, push your fingernails along it, it tears a little bit neater. Well, I spoke too soon. That one didn't tear super neat. But it doesn't need to be neat. It'll still be cool. All right, here we go. Mine's got some ruffles on the edges. There it is. I think I'm going to use this side because this side has a code on it and I don't want the code to show. So I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to write I-N-G right in the middle. Ing. Just like that. Then I'm going to think of some things that have the chunk ing in them. Look, on my crown I made a king, a swing. Somebody can sing. This bee has a wing and a sting. And oh, look, there's a ring. In fact, oh, look, I'm wearing rings. Lots of them. You know how I love jewelry. I have my bee earrings and my bee necklace and my bee shirt because they have stingers and wings and that has ing in it. Anyway, you draw your pictures. I'm not going to take the time to do that now. I want you to figure it out. Then you can just stick this in the front. I'm going to put a piece of tape on each end. I'll show you in a sec. Just like that. See the tape and the tape? And then I'm going to put it on my crown. And there you go. You've got your in crown. Don't forget to draw the other pictures, okay? Just like on here. Find words that you can make a picture for that has the chunk ing in it. You guys have fun. We have to have fun during this time. Make the best of our situations. And we can use anything to create crafts. I'm really proud of you, everyone. I love you and miss you.